So let's go ahead and give this bigger one a try, okay? And we gotta look, we gotta break down what these circles are. And so this first one has a diameter of 0.5 again. And so we're gonna go ahead and do it the exact same way as we are doing this right side face here. So we'll go ahead, if it's six squares tall, as we said in the last video, okay, then we know that it's going to be, I'll make sure I get, I guess someone's, well, it doesn't matter if I cover that up. We know that it's gonna be right in the center, so it's three squares, so up three to the right three, or sorry, I guess that's back three. We draw our little center mark. And then, okay, it's 0.5, so we're going to go 0.25, just like before. The radius equals 0.25, and I guess I should have put it that right there. Um, so we go 0.25, or one square away from our center mark, in all four directions, and draw those four straight lines. Okay, and then again, we look, oh, hey, it's sharp. Or, I'm sorry, that's not sharp, that's, that's obtuse, and so it's going to be an almost straight curve again. And then same thing down here. This one's almost straight. And so, okay, I'm going to go ahead and knock that one out right now. It's going to be almost straight as it leaves. Whereas these ones, they're going to be very sharp. It's going to come close to the corner, but sharply curve off. And again, down here, the exact same thing. So that's too easy, too obvious. And again, it's not going to be perfect, but it's elongated the correct direction. And I clearly hit my radii or my radius on every point in every direction. So we're good. So let's do, let's do this one. Oh, I guess we can't see what the diameter is in that front face there. But it says it's a radius of 0.5, which means it has a diameter of, well, let's draw that diameter better. The diameter of one inch. I'm sorry, well, not one inch, just one, which means the radius is two squares. The diameter is four. So, okay, we draw our center mark here. And again, you want to make sure your center mark is going the correct direction that is parallel to the sides that make up that face. And I'm going to go, well, in this case, two squares above because it says it's a radius of two squares. So one, two, draw your straight line. One, two, draw your straight line. One, two, draw your straight line. And one, two, draw your straight line. It's going to be the same thing, just bigger. So for example, this corner right here, that's where the, both of these lines are going towards. That's a very obtuse angle. And so, okay, I'm going to go ahead and come off, but it's going to curve in an almost straight line. And so this one is also obtuse, and so this one's also going to be almost straight. Now, here's where it gets tricky. This is where it gets really hard, is the elongation. It's a very sharp angle that these two are pointing towards, and this is as well. And so it's going to curve very sharply. The key is to come very close to your corner comparatively. So I don't want to just barely go here. I got to go pretty far out, actually. I got to go almost pretty close to that corner, and both sides going to curve super sharply. It's not going to be perfect. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make it a little better because it's really not perfect, and I like it to be. I'm a little OCD, but it's okay if it's not, is my point. It's going to be, it's going to have little flaws, and you'll still get credit as soon as, as long as you see the radii and the direction of the elongation. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I want to see that you understand. And so again, sharp curve, it elongates in that direction, we're good. This last one has a diameter of 1.5 or six squares. And so we find the center, make sure the center mark is parallel in both directions. And we can make the center mark longer if we want. It's really not necessary. I just like marking the center so I can see where we're going. This time, I'm lucky, my lines are already drawn for me. If you look, uh, we're going to go a diameter of 1.5, so that's six squares across. Well, six squares is this direction, six squares is this direction. Six squares is this direction, six squares is this direction, so the radius is three squares, so hold on, one, two, three, okay, there's my straight line, one, two, three, there's my straight line, it's that way every direction. So all I have to do is look at the corners. Okay, this is an obtuse angle, and so I'm just going to come off this. Yeah, I get close to my corner, of course, and have an almost straight curve. It's going to be very close to being straight, but it is going to curve. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. i got to make sure I'm here at the end, but I'm just going to go a little bit off this way and a little bit off this way, and it's again going to be a curve. It's going to arc. It's going to come close to that end, but it should be almost straight. And this one, of course, is a very uh, narrow angle, right? It's very 
uh, acute angle, very sharp, and so the curve should be very sharp. And again, another way to look at it is I should get close to that corner, so I shouldn't end it here. I got to get it pretty far past, right? So I got to go pretty far away from this in that direction. It's got to elongate, so we'll go all the way out there and there you go it looks like a pretty decent circle that direction so we'll do the same thing over here we got this corner and so hold on we want to make sure we come out all the way and make sure that curve is elongated in the correct direction to make sure you hit your radii and it's good